with the cost of these new targeted immunotherapies. One of the arguments obviously has been that we're giving Proven, Cipula Cell T, this is so expensive, 90 some odd thousand dollars per cycle. So the question that I would have, and it's gonna be difficult I'm sure for you to address this completely, do you think this is going to be something that's going to be cost competitive? I mean, is it going to be worth, is it going to be in the marketplace, is this going to be sustainable based on cost? What are your thoughts? Anywhere I go now, uh, not at the academic institution, but if you go to Wall Street, mm -hmm. that's the talk of the day, mm -hmm. and you know this is what's going to come to us in urology, and we will ask that question. So, um, you know, this is really, at the end of the day, uh, the most important question of can we afford it? Uh, yes. These treatments are uh, expensive, but some of the old treatments, uh, even the best targeted therapies we have, are given for life. If it's an anti-angiogenic pill, right, you cannot stop. So let's assume you have, you have a remission, the patient cannot stop, because once you stop an anti-angiogenic right. uh, medication, the angiogenesis and mm -hmm. the proliferation of cells start. So you continue. The side effect continue. Uh, the patient has problems in working. So days uh, lost of work are huge. And there is no end. It's, it's essentially, it's for life. The new therapies that are now in the cutting edge are one infusion. Those who, re who respond, respond completely and are back to normal with no evidence of any disease uh, and therefore this ha will have to be judged. Mm -hmm. Is it curative right. versus not curative? Right. Supportive therapy like we have gone in the last, uh, last 10 years with, uh, uh, with the targeted therapies right. which are hugely expensive Very. and not curing anybody mm -hmm. yet, that will be an issue.